as everybody kind of figures, you know, that the the shoulda, the Eagles shoulda won that game because they're the defending NFC champ. Gerald McCoy said on our show, the Bucs are going to win. And we all thought, well, yeah, because you've been you've been picking the Bucs all year long. You're a Buck and you're, you know. And I, I, I'm, I went with them because I saw the way the Eagles have been playing. Yeah. And I'm like, the Bucs are the better team. The Bucs have sure. had played better football than the Eagles. I'm not just going to say the Eagles should win this thing. As a matter of fact, you know who should win this thing? It's the Bucs. And everybody's like overlooking them for next week. Uh, I... I'd, I'd counsel against that. I thought it was preposterous that the Eagles were favored in that game. Well, that's because of going the, into last night. But I mean, the the what you're seeing right here out of the the Buccaneers is stupendous. Mayfield second career playoff win, and the other one was that that boat race of the Steelers when he was with the Browns in the wild card round, six hundred passing on six touchdowns. And zero interceptions. And then, you know, the next week, he, he put the scare in Kansas City, did he not? Right? So, let's just give him his flowers, man. This point last year, everyone's like, where's he going to go? And Aikman said it multiple times last night. The Bucks were over-capped. They were, they were in deep trouble. Mm-hmm. Where are they going to find a quarterback who's like, I'll go there. I'll take less. I'll follow Brady. And I'll lead the team. And I'll be happy to do it. And it was a perfect marriage. You know, a perfect marriage. And I'll I'll also go somewhere and play for a defensive-minded head coach. And he could easily go, I don't want to do that again. You kidding me? I I don't want to do that. You know, I just had Steve Wilkes just there, you know, as my as my uh as my interim coach, what a mess that was. So I'll go there and I'll I'll start becoming the primary vessel for Dave Canales, who hasn't called plays since he was in high school. I'll do that. And then I'll find Mike Evans in a way that Brady couldn't or didn't, however you want to put it. Come on now. Awesome. Well, he made himself a lot awesome. of money because good for him. He's going to get a hundred million dollar deal from them. He should. This is what Baker Mayfield had to say after the game last night. How does this playoff win compare to your first one? It's pretty good. <laughs> is it even sweeter considering the journey you were on this past year? Yeah, I mean, I don't like to directly compare, um, but yeah, obviously the ups and downs that I've been through in the last few years. Um, this one's great, but uh, our, like I said earlier, our sights are set for bigger goals, and so on to the next one. There's something about whether it's you're an underdog or a road game, um, just having your backs against the wall and knowing it's it's just your team versus everybody else when you're counted out, and it, it, it's always fun to be in that role. Uh, obviously, I'm pretty comfortable in it, but uh, our team has completely embraced that throughout the year. I think you're getting your last cracks at Baker Mayfield giving uh – some countenance to this whole, yeah, you were in the dumps last year, and now look at you now. I think he's just going to be like, I'm the guy here, and I should be the guy here, and I'm the man. And of all the people to come into the building, I understand Stafford was a totally different ball of wax. Mayfield is the first quarterback drafted number one overall to win his first home playoff game at least five seasons since entering the NFL since... Matthew Stafford did it for the Rams Mm -hmm. in 2021. So here comes Mayfield after Stafford in that building. And like I said, a whole different ball of wax for Stafford because of his history there. But who likes biting kneecaps himself? Don't you think he's like this? He's like a, he's got a Dan Campbell attitude coming into that building. You hate me and I'll plant the flag in Michigan. Like I did in Ohio all those years ago. I love the guy. I'm psyched for him. I am psyched for him, and the Bucks should be happy to sign him, right? Don't you think? Uh, they absolutely. should be done with the, like they're not going to be searching for the, the next this that no, they no, found no. him. He's found. Yeah, they found him. They found him. He's he's, he's the guy. 
And he he needed and to, and to think there was a quarterback competition in July and August. Well, you got to do that to start. I understand, uh, but, but if you look at that from where we started this journey and now here they are well, the, winning a playoff game. The journey I'm going with is is he was uh, he was on the couch at that podcast with the dogs, you know, belly scratching up oh, in the air. He was on his way to being right. a career backup. Right, and then he goes to Carolina, and that was a total complete mess. Where, where 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 Carolina, I guess, was looking at him in the same way that Tampa was. Like, we'll see what you're doing here. And then they decide to go in a completely different direction. Yeah. They fire the coach. What a holy heck of a mess. The interim comes in, benches him. He goes to the Rams and wins a game right on, on, on two days' notice. Right. And apparently McVay and him vibed, and he got, like, sort of a rejuvenation in him. And then, like I said, the Bucks needed somebody because I guess they weren't handing it off to Trask and look at them now they're they're in the divisional playoff round Mm -hmm. there was footage going around x twitter of last year him sitting in on the scout team for the Panthers at DN oh yeah I saw that picture that's what he was doing this time this time last year crazy so I think we're 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 going to be done with the look how far you've come stuff with Baker I think he's going to be done with that Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.